Good morning, Stereo Nation. Hope everybody's having a great day on this Friday, March 27th. Hey, let's just kick it off with a big shout out to our maintenance crew, grounds crew, and custodians. They don't get any better than what we have here at Big Spring ISD. John Sparks and his group have been doing an outstanding job uh, all the way going back, well, really all year, but uh, since uh, March 16th when we had to close school, uh, those guys are still putting in time, taking care of our grounds, our buildings, our classrooms, and I cannot say enough good things about the people that we have working with Mr. Sparks and the maintenance crew and custodial group. Uh, so if you see some of those people in town, give them a pat on the back and uh, tell them thank you for the job they're doing. Uh, secondly, uh, last night you should have received a phone call uh, in our Big Spring ISD all call from uh, Mr. Bancroft. And that call dealt with how we're doing local assessments, how we're still taking packets and grades either virtually or as I mentioned through the packet system. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to call the campus, talk to the principal or call up here and we will answer those questions. All of that is dealing with how we are continuing to provide instruction, take some type of assessment, and have our kids ready when we come back, hopefully this year, and definitely leading into next year. But we're always here to answer your questions, so feel free to reach out to us. Also, speaking of packets, as you all know, Monday is our designated day where you either hand in packets or you pick those up. That went very well last Monday uh, from 8.30 to 3.30. You went to the individual campuses and we had a late pickup from four o'clock to seven at the high school. If you'll remember, we have moved that to four o'clock to six o'clock this coming Monday at the high school. But here's the one thing I want you to understand. If by chance you miss the Monday pickup, you can still come to the campus Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will get you something for your kids or kids if you miss the Monday pickup. We pride ourselves at Big Spring ISD in being in the service business, and we're going to take care of you and your child even if you miss the Monday pickup. So know that you can come on another day, uh, and we will take care of you. And if you have any questions about that, also feel free to give us a call here at Big Spring ISD. And last but not least, I know everybody's curious um, uh, because the governor shut school down through April 3rd. Um, and you're probably wondering, are we going to go back to school on April the 6th? Here at Big Spring ISD, we hope to go back on April the 6th until we hear from the governor next week. Because as of today, nothing has changed on the closure through April the 3rd. I'm sure we'll be getting an update sometime next week. And the time that we get that update, you'll be the first to know. But again, we plan on uh, trying to start school sometime in April. Um, we're just not sure the exact date. Right now, that date is April 6th, but we'll know more next week uh, when we hear from the governor's office, the CDC, and the federal government. So we're going to do what's best for kids, what's best for our staff, and what is it, what is definitely uh, in the best interest of the health of all concern before school uh, is renewed um, and we get all the kids back. Uh, also, the final shout out is to all the kids out here that uh, attend schools at Big Spring ISD. Uh, your teachers miss you. Your principals miss, miss you. I miss seeing everyone when I go out and visit campuses. It's not the same without the kids here. I hope you're doing well at home. Um, we can't wait to see you back here at Big Spring ISD, and I hope all of you also have a great day uh, on this beautiful Friday here in Big Spring. Go Steers!